welcome to Ross Age Stadium, home to the Purdue Boilermakers here in West Lafayette, Indiana, and they have been ready to go boiler up since early this morning. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see, the number one team in the country, the Ohio State Buckeyes. The Buckeyes will kick it away first. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. The Boilermakers offense takes the field for the first time today. And here comes the big fella, a staple of this aerial attack, Jesse. And he's a guy that can line up all over the field, David. There's matchups out there waiting to be taken advantage of. Yeah, and it's so nice to be able to do that. It makes it easy to play quarterback when you can feature a guy like this that's fast, big, and strong. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, going up top. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. The Boilermakers will bring the punt team onto the field. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. And nobody able to field that punt as it rolls out of bounds. The Buckeyes offense has the ball for the first time. When you have a weapon like this on the outside, and a guy in the secondary whose job is to take everything away, it's going to be a great matchup, guys. Man, it's so fun to see how you attack great safeties in the middle of the field. Are you willing to do that, or are you going to try to live on the perimeter? The expressway is wide open. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. That big play has them in business. First and 10 inside the 20. Fires left. Got it. He gets it in. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Okay, coming into the game, you look at the stats and you say top 10 offense in scoring. So they better be able to create what? Explosive plays. Another explosive plays. They've been doing it all year long. Those plays are backbreakers. Defenses just can't contain this offense. And he'll just take a knee and this drive will start at the 25. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Pressure coming. And they're not quite in rhythm there. It's incomplete. They punted on their first drive of the game, and now they have to convert on third down to avoid doing it again. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got his man, and he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Boilermakers will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. The drive starts from their own 25-yard line. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. To the air, it's Sayin. Got his man on the outside. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one, not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. You gotta start fast, you gotta have a sense of urgency. You cannot come sleepwalking into it. And, and they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Throws to the wideout. 
got his man downfield. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. And the Buckeyes are rolling down the field. They'll run it from the gun. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Wide out in motion. On second down, just keeps firing. And it'll be incomplete. He got on the move trying to make something happen, but just couldn't find the man. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. And they'll send out the field goal unit. It is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive. And now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. The Boilermakers have it back, and here comes the offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Working that left side. All the way out to the 38-yard line. It's a gain of 15. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. Power football with the run. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four-down territory. Here's third and short. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. He's able to fight his way for a couple of yards, but it'll be fourth down and three. The Boilermakers will send out the punt unit. Let's see what he can do with it. He did a great job finding some running room on that return and was able to set up the offense with good field position. Dropping back, it's Sayin. Firing to the right, complete. They make the stop, and that's how the first quarter will end. Well, guys, Ohio State has the lead here. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. Line gets set, first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Smith. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. Motion from the offense. He's looking for an open man on second down. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. Can't quite make the connection there, but don't let him a little too much. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Caught near the sideline, it's Graham. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. The Buckeyes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Really nice throw there to get the first down. And, you know, when you think about Ohio State quarterback play, especially here recently, it all comes down to efficiency. You have to make good decisions. you got to read the defense. you got to be accurate. When you think of guys like Justin Fields, C.J. Stroud, guys who went in the first round, that's what they did. And this guy right here, I think he has the ability to be a first-rounder in the future. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. He's looking to throw. And he can't find his man in the end zone as he was trying to pay off his red zone chance. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Moves away as he feels pressure. Got out of trouble and throws. Grab near the marker. It's Christian. And he's going to take it into the end zone. 
Touchdown, Ohio State! On to attempt the try. Field shrinks, tight end grows. Big targets, big results. <laughs> I've never heard it put that way. But you're dang right. That guy is so big. A lot of times you get a DB matched up on him. He can just post him up. A linebacker, he can run by him. So that's why these tight ends are so dangerous down here in this red zone. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. After giving up that score, now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this drive. Uh, I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time. Have you seen my defense? Uh, I mean, I'm not trusting them to get a lot of stops, so it puts a lot of pressure on this offense. And the Boilermakers headed quickly to the line. Finds a tight end. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. They bring the punter onto the field now. They'll have to punt for the fourth time today. Makes the catch. Wants to make a move upfield. They'll get down and put a stop for the return at about the 28-yard line. We'll see the offense make its way onto the field here, hoping for a successful drive. And the defense gets to the quarterback. But when it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Looking to throw, it's Sayin. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Third down conversion's always a huge stat. And they've got a third and long from the 27. Quickly out to the tight end. Love to see these third down conversions on offense and they're out to their own 39-yard line. Looking for a productive play on first down. Quarterback moving out of the pocket. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. And they've been waiting for something good to happen with respect to getting after the quarterback, right? They're outside of the top 100 in the country in sacks per game. But finally now, you see they're generating this pass rush. Three sacks on the game so far. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Grabbed over the middle. It's Thurman. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. Wants to throw on first down. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. After the misfire, it's second and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. The throw. And the freshman just threw it behind him that time. Yeah, it's just the throw the quarterback would love to have back. His guy's wide open, and it looked to me like maybe he was overstriding or straining a little bit too much on the throw. The nose of the ball was diving. And he, of course, threw it into the ground. That's one he'd like to do over. And the quarterback runs out of time, and down he goes at the 38. They'll snap it for the 10th time on this drive, but they need a chunk on third and long. He lets it fly. And he's got it at the 10. They'll mark him down right there, but it is a big play, and they'll move the chains. The Buckeyes will snap it on first and 10. Bought a little time, lets it go. He makes the grab. That throw and catch gets him down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. Dropping back, it's Sayin. And he can't find his man as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Flips it out in the flat. They didn't quite get that route run deep enough to pick up the first down. Now they've got a fourth and short. And I think everybody at home tends to yell at their television set. Why aren't you getting past the first down? And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes! And what a nice play call and nice execution. Play action, you're thinking run. 
quarterback pulls it out, throws the football right behind those guys, and gets the touchdown. Yeah, it was a nice job there by the quarterback, too, on, on the ball handling. He just froze the defense just long enough to help those wide receivers and targets get some separation in the end zone. And at that point, it was just an easy pitch. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So here comes the kickoff after the touchdown, and the last thing you need right before the half is to give up a big return. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. They believe they can run right here. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. The Boilermakers will kick it away to start the second half. 24, Purdue, zero. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. Going to the run to start this second half. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Starts to scramble to the left. On the move at the 30. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Got him looking run. He wants to throw. Quick completion on the out. At the 40, there he goes. And he'll go out of bounds, and this aerial attack just continues to carve this defense into tiny slices. Couldn't find anybody to throw to. He'll just toss it away. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off play action on first down. They're bringing heat. Pass rush coming after the quarterback, and they get him at the 32. After that five-yard loss, some work to do now to keep this drive humming at second and 15. Setting up the screen. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. They've got a ways to go on third down from the 24 as this defense tries to force them into a field goal try. Dropping back, it's Saiyan. Buying some time. He'll try to do it himself. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And the Buckeyes have pushed it inside the 20. Looking to go up top on first down. Makes the catch. It's Thurman. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. And the punishment has been extended. And with the way he's throwing it right now, there are some big names at the top of that record list. J Haskins, Justin Fields might be getting ready to move them down a notch. And moving those guys down? That's a day. That, that's the day you dream about. That's the day where the ball's barely touching the ground, you're in a zone, and everything is going your way. The Boilermakers have it back, and here comes the offense. Comes out throwing on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He's looking to throw. Just a short pass to the tight end. 
tackled almost immediately. They're well short of the first down. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down. And it's picked off. Looking for more room. The 30. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Buckeyes. A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too. Now, look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split him out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back. On the ground, it's McCoby. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. He's looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. He'll move it up to the 37-yard line, and it'll be a first down. A new set of downs after the completion. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the big fella. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Now on second down. Out of the gun, they give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. From the gun, wants to pass. He looks that one in nicely. And he was off to the races, finally tripped up at the 36. After an abysmal first half, goose egg on the scoreboard, the offense trying to find itself. It's first down. From the gun, running back on the move. Moves it forward just a bit, a pickup of one to the 35. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Working that left side now. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Snagged in the middle, it's French. Offense has gained momentum with third down conversions like that. They got it at the 25. As they get set to snap it, time winding down here in the quarter. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Trying to get to it. The pass falls incomplete, and that'll be the final play of this quarter. Well, guys, Ohio State has the lead here. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. Second down now as they're ready to go back to work. 29 Philly. 29 Philly. They'll run play action. Zings it complete to the right. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. They've been very good at moving the chains on third down. Two for two on this drive. This time they need six. Discards a man. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. This offense in scoring position with a fresh set of downs. A first down run on the doorstep. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. He's looking to throw. He caught it! Push down for the tackle. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. He'll keep it himself. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Purdue! Hey, good for them. They, they put together a drive. They, they got a touchdown. It, it's been a bad day. I mean, this is a day they're going to want to forget. They're getting destroyed. But at least you get some positive vibes. Maybe, maybe finish this game on a little bit of a high note. A little bit. He'll bring it out. It's Rodgers. 
Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out in the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Grabbed in the middle. It's LeBlanc. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. The Buckeyes have it with a first and ten. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Running back searching for a hole. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Third and short now from their own 38. They'll try to bully their way for the first. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. The Buckeyes are flying down the field. The handoff keep working on that clock. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. They're a perfect two for two on third down on this drive. They need eight to move the chains again. Fires to the wide out. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? The coach wants the officials to have another look at the monitor. Using a timeout here, thinks the call is going to end up going his way. The coach still thinks he was right. The officials say he was not. The challenge is denied, and the timeout is gone. Inside the 30 at the 29, it's a first down. The give to the back. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Long drive continues as the offense keeps working the ball down the field. And that pass intercepted. He'll try to take it back. He's at the 40. Running inside the 20. Touchdown, Boilermaker! The defense puts six on the board with a big time interception return. And this defense has had a rough day, but how about this play? Breaking on the football, making the pick, taking it to the house, and build some momentum for some future games. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. The deficit is huge, this one is all, but over there, they'll keep trying and line up for the onside kick. They'd hope to get that thing bouncing around, but the hands team is able to corral it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. A first down for the offense. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. And a decent game there before the defense makes a stop. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, keep the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they built this lead. They've had a great day today. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south. Get a first down. Get a new set of downs. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. The offense lining up for a first down play. They'll run it from the gun. He'll get that one all the way down to the four-yard line before he stops. And while the game is all but decided, why not try to get another one if you can? That's part of the fun, right? Brown wants to pass. Moving out of the pocket. 
They get to him as he throws. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Quick strike complete. Touchdown, Ohio State! And the beatdown has ensued. That's what finishing the deal looks like. Build the lead in the fourth quarter and close in on 11 straight victories. And you knew this one was over already, but how about an exclamation point to go with it? Another score for this offense. They've had themselves a great day, and the stats just continue to pile up. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. First down for this offense. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Or did he find a hole in that secondary? He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Wide open downfield. And he crosses the goal line and gets the touchdown, but way too little, way too late. They still do count it for six. The result of this game is going to sting for sure, but you've got to continue to build, you've got to improve, and you can take some positives out of this late hustle and build for next week. There's always positives. The coaches are always looking for those things that we did well. What did we do well so we can do more of it in the future? Finding some things here late that they did well. All business today for this ball club. They come out and they get the win.